Hello friends, welcome to my channel Explore with Joyita. The bonding between a brother and a sister is simply unique and is beyond description in words. The relationship between siblings is extraordinary and is given importance in every part of the world. However, when it comes to India, the relationship becomes all the more important as there is a festival called Raksha Bandhan dedicated for the sibling love. This is a special Hindu festival which is celebrated in India and countries like Nepal to symbolize the love between a brother and a sister. On this day, brothers and sisters come together to express their love for each other and also pray for their well-being. The sisters tie a knot of Rakhi on the wrist of her brother who promises to protect his sister from the evil. Rakhi threads are produced from organic cotton which is hand spun on charka by women artisans in the villages. Rakhi threads are dyed with natural materials, turmeric and madder roots which have medicinal properties. When one wears them, they will transfer these benefits to the wearer. The occasion of Raksha Bandhan is celebrated on the full moon day of the Hindu Luni solar calendar in the month of Shravana, which typically falls in the August month of Gregorian calendar. The festival is made up of two words namely Raksha and Bandhan. As per the Sanskrit terminology, the occasion means the tie or knot of protection where Raksha stands for the protection and Bandhan signifies the verb to tie. Together, the festival symbolizes the eternal love of brother-sister relationship which does not mean just the blood relationships only. It is also celebrated among cousins, sister and sister-in-law, fraternal aunt and nephew and other such relations. The festival is mainly celebrated by the Hindus in the northern and western parts of India along with countries like Nepal, Pakistan and Mauritius. The occasion is also revered by the Jain community where Jain priests give ceremonial threads to the devotees. This festival devoted to the brother sister love is observed by the Sikhs as Rakhardi or Rakhadi. Few days before Raksha Bandhan, sisters shop from one place to another in search of striking rakhis and sweets for their brothers. They also buy other things that are required for the ritual like Roli chawal, puja thali, coconut, etc. The brothers, on the other hand, buy gifts for their sisters. On the day of Raksha Bandhan, everyone wakes up early and takes bath. Then they perform puja and aarti of the gods. Then the sisters apply tikka of roli and chawal on the forehead of their brothers, tie the rakhi and give them sweets to eat. Brothers then give gifts to their sisters and have a meal together. The festival of Raksha Bandhan is known to have originated centuries before and there are several stories related to the celebration of this special festival. Some of the various accounts related to the Hindu mythology are Indra Dev and Sachi. According to the Asian legend of Bhavishya Purana, once there was a fierce battle between gods and demons. Lord Indra, the principal deity of sky, rains and thunderbolts, who was fighting the battle on the side of gods, was having a tough resistance from the powerful demon king, Bali. The war continued for a long time and did not come on a decisive end. Seeing this, Indra's wife Sachi went to the Lord Vishnu, who gave her a holy bracelet made up of cotton thread. Sachi tied the holy thread around the wrist of her husband. Lord Indra, who ultimately defeated the demons and recovered the Amaravati. The earlier account of the festival described these holy threads to be amulets which were used by women for prayers and were tied to their husband when they were leaving for a war. Unlike the present times, those holy threads were not limited to brother-sister relationship. King Bali and Goddess Lakshmi as per an account of Bhagavad Purana and Vishnu Purana, when Lord Vishnu won the three worlds from the demon king Bali, he asked by the demon king to stay beside him in the palace. The Lord accepted the request and started living with the demon king. 
However, Goddess Lakshmi, wife of Lord Vishnu, wanted to return to her native place of Vaikuntha. So, she tied the rakhi around the wrist of the demon king Bali and made him a brother. On asking about the return gift, Goddess Lakshmi asked Bali to free her husband from the vow and let him return to Vaikuntha. Bali agreed to the request and Lord Vishnu returned to his place with his wife Goddess Lakshmi. Santoshima It is said that the two sons of Lord Ganesha named Shubh and Lab were frustrated that they had no sister. They asked for a sister from their father who finally obliged to their sister on the intervention of Saint Narada. This is how Lord Ganesha created Santoshima through the divine flames and the two sons of Lord Ganesha got their sister for the occasion of Raksha Bandhan. Krishna and Draupadi In the Mahabharata, Lord Krishna had hurt his finger when he had sent his Sudarshan Chakra from his finger to behead Shishupala. Draupadi then bandaged his finger with a piece of cloth from her sari. Lord Krishna, who was moved by her deed, promised to protect her from all odds. Rakhi was used as a tool of anti-British protests too. In August 1905, the British decided to partition the Bengal Presidency into Hindu and Muslim majority provinces respectively. The festival of Raksha Bandhan was falling around the same time with August coinciding with the Hindu month of Shravan. As an attempt to unify people against the imperialist forces, Rabindranath Tagore called upon Hindus and Muslims to tie rakhis on each other's wrists as a symbolic gesture. Hundreds showed up with rakhis following Tagore's call in towns and cities like Kolkata, Chittagong, Dhaka and Rangpur. The efforts of 1905 initially failed to prevent the partition of Bengal even though the British withdrew it six years later. This effectively established the Rakhi as a peaceful symbol of political protest, traces of which can be seen even today. In recent time, attempts at secularizing the festival include Hindu women tying Rakhis to Muslim men or vice versa, particularly in regions of North India. For instance, in Gorakhpur, this tradition has been an annual phenomenon since 2009, started by students intent on fostering peace in the town. Coming back to Bengal, the state's Basirhat district bore witness to communal tensions in 2017, following which the local Hindus and Muslims similarly celebrated Raksha Bandhan together to reduce tensions. The festival of Raksha Bandhan is observed as a symbol of duty between brothers and sisters. So friends, this was my video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to get more fascinating videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to like and share. Thank you. Bye-bye.